Hello, back on 0304. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the match engine because I'm just about to go into the Celtic game. Uh, where's the speed on it? Let's put it on uh, very fast, highlights only, key. Because my squad so far, I'll just quickly explain the tactic before we go into the match so we can actually see how it plays out on the match engine. So Duff crosses to far post, only crosses deep. Um, mate only does deep crosses because my Norwegian right back who's got crossing 20 is out injured so that's how I was using him I don't know if Duff couldn't do the same job but that might cost me um, for this game because I needed that guy in but that's the problem with it on this version there's too many players like this you can pick up for peanuts and he's, he's just so well rounded for like such a small price you can basically just create a whole squad of players like that and you'll be able to challenge with any team within a, within certainly within two seasons, um, and in most cases the first season. Uh, who else have I got? I've got Mark Kerr, who's done okay. Uh, Marini, obviously, who I got in on the free. Look what he's done. He's the same thing again. I'm not really doing much with Marini. Um, I'm just letting him drift around. And then we watch the watch him in the match engine. Look, cross from touchline, mentality attacking, passing short, which kind of just suits his attributes. And he's obviously got high set pieces, so uh, he's more of the holding. No, oh, that's Mark Kerr. So that's what I got Mark Kerr on forward runs, try through balls, attacking short, closing down always, which suits his uh, attributes. And he stands off Craig Easton. So he drops back a little bit more, and with the arrow, just a bit of extra cover. Um, Scotland, he's, I use kind of as a target man. He just holds up the ball and plays it off to Marini, and obviously because of his mentality, he drops a bit deeper. Uh, Colin Samuel, he gets he gets so many one on ones, but he's got low finishing. Um, but most of the, most of his goals are like kind of in, individualistic. He kind of you just see him dribble a little bit. Um, he's really quick, so that's how I'm kind of using it. Obviously, with Colin, whoop, let's go back to the tactic screen. Back to match. Forward runs, runs with ball, attacking, touch line. Okay, so it's Celtic are playing a 3 5 2 attacking, and I'm playing a. This is kind of the tactic I've kind of started to settle for. Zonal marking. I'm not using offside trap because. I really more, might be able to, but I think they've been doing okay without it. And John Dick is quite quick. Well, yeah, he is quite quick to cover the space in behind, so I don't think I need offside trap. And Mark Wilson's more like my ball playing defender. As you can see, try through balls mixed. And I've done the same with Archibald because he's not an explosive fullback, but look, he's got four assists in seven games just from using that. Kind of the same kind of thing, so. Just from setting up your team and using the attributes on the game to start with makes a huge difference. And then obviously if you're adding freaks and just really loads of cheap players like Oscarson and stuff to your squad, it really the game starts to uh, become very easy. But the match engine on the game is very good. The issue is not the match engine. It's just there's too many cheap players to buy. <laughs> that just makes such a huge difference like that Marini guy I showed you. All I'm doing is basically because he's got high dribbling and he's quick. That's all I'm using him on his attributes and obviously the arrow movement is the same with McLaren. McLaren's not that great, he's quick and he doesn't really have higher technical attributes but look at his assists, I'm just using him where he's suited for the arrow movement and obviously as well he's just a winger, that's all he does. Forward runs, runs with ball, attacking touchline. So, so we'll start the Celtic game, I'll run it on slow because I actually want to watch the match myself because I've been running through games. So let's see how they counter-attack. I don't think my team's strong enough yet to, to really give Celtic a... to really win at Celtic, but you never know. I'm expecting Celtic to have much of the, most of the game with being on counter-attacking. Right, so Samuel lost it there, so I might need to take him off hold up ball. Because 
they'll probably score now from the turnover. But we're defending well, because that's what I wanted with the shape. The, the players are quite well set. We're not using offside trap. And we're not on attacking or gun hay, so we've got quite a, a nice defensive line. As you can see, Marini's in already. Will he make it 1-0? No. So the tactic works how I want. There was a free ball from the left back and Marini gets put through. But is my team freakish enough to win at Celtic? That's the problem and they've just they've just missed there. So I'm gonna take Scotland I'm gonna take Scotland off hold up ball. Not Scotland, um I'm gonna take Scotland off hold up ball and I'm gonna put him on direct passing. And he's not going to cross from the byline. Oh, I've uh, signed this goalkeeper as well from um, Queen of the South. And he's got four clean sheets in five games already. He's much better than my Scottish international goalkeeper who starts in the squad. What's his name? Paul Gallagher. 6.4, conceded the goal every game I played him. And I put this guy in, he's just, his attributes are insane. It's like 18 one on ones, aerial ability, rushing out. Remember the name John Dodds. So, where do I get him from? Queen of the South. So, the tactics doing what I want. We had a click up chance with Marini, but we didn't put it in. And we're kind of keeping Celtic out a little bit. Can they do it again? Like Larson messed up. That's what you want, well marked, and uh, we're just looking for that one chance to uh, counter them. Go and play a free ball, Wilson. We've got it on defenders, uh, goalkeeper play it short to defenders, or we might be mixing it up. I can't remember what I did, but but he seems to play long passes when he when the decisions are on. So short defensive distribution, ask defenders to collect. I might bring on uh, Billy Dodds at half time. As you can see, they're all long shots and they're not. They haven't really caused me any issues. Um, Mark Wilson's playing a four. But on the match engine, they look quite comfortable. Um. Let's take off Scotland. Let's put the crosses, cross aim, far post. Let's bring on Dodd for, let's just put him on normal. Uh, playing out from the back. <laughs> so I need to get it forward, don't I? I did say before the game, I just I was just curious to see how the uh, match engine played out, which is uh, what I wanted. Um, ask defenders to collect. Let's put it on long kick. I can't really put it on long because I don't really have... And I'm going to try it own half only because I don't want him just sitting there. What's his decisions? He's only got 10 decisions. So we'll put him on long for the rest of the game. And we'll put... Billy does normal, closing down always, passing short. Um, Let's free roll him as well, just see if that makes a difference. Because we don't have a lot of movement with the front two, it, it, it looks like. Uh, so Marini's the only one that's playing pretty well at the moment. Let's go down the flanks for the rest of the game. And let's put the passing on... I can't even put it on direct, I don't really have a target man. 
which is the problem. The, Cel the, the Celtic centre-backs are uh, eating my strikers up. I'll give it 10 minutes and then I'll have to take it off counter-attack. Oh, I see. The tactics doing what I want, so I can't really complain. The Marini's got low finishing. It's the only thing he's not good at. <clears throat> so you're not you're not kind of expecting him to score goals at the back post and stuff. And Wilson's really struggling on a, as a ball playing defender this game. Against weaker teams, he's all right, but get it out. Oh, but I'm pleased with how they're defending. I mean, I need to take it off counter attack as well. We've got a corner. It's actually quite nice to watch the full match on slow sometimes because you'll see that the, the match engine was excellent on this version. It's just, as I was saying, it is the players and how they kind of edited the game. So they're, and how they kind of used the editor and gave them too many players or 20s. There's too many like players you can pick up for like nothing that are just like become world class on it. Um, we need to just, we need to just get it direct um, let's go long with him let's put them both on uh, through balls um, let's take it off counter attack let's play uh, hot side track uh, let's go mentality attacking oh, that's the first time I've seen Samuel play a forward this season Can we do an arrow? Can you get an arrow out? Striker, right only. He does have decent crossing. And let's just bring Donoghue on for... He's got very good passing, this guy. Yeah, mate, Mark is not the same Mark Curry he is on 0102. He's, he's good, but he's just not... I probably shouldn't be closing down in midfield either because uh, Celtic are pretty strong. And they've got five in midfield as well. So. Oh, see, Marini's doing what I want him to do, but. I think Celtic will get a second now we're on attacking. Yeah. That I kind of expected it, but if you're one nil down with 15 minutes to go, there's not really much else you can do. <laughs> so, oh, almost. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to win the league first season because Celtic are just super strong on this game. They're a bit like 0102 really, but a little bit stronger. He tried the through ball there, which is what I want, but it didn't come off. Yeah, that's because you go attacking and you play a higher line. Because so, we was in the game at one 0 even though the mat, even though the match stats didn't really show it, but we were doing the, as you can see with what how we played up until probably when I went attacking, we was doing very well. So let's just go gun ho for the last um, ten minutes. I was actually reading a forum on, on this about a month ago and they were saying always go gun ho don't go attacking attacking doesn't work as well for some reason I think it's the same with defensive you either go ultra defensive or defensive it seems like if you're somewhere in between like a neutral mentality it doesn't work as well I find normal works nicely on it because it's more, just so much better balanced on the match engine like when you go gun ho your defenders are just too high up and when you play against better teams, the offside trap doesn't work as well. 
and my defenders don't have high decisions and things like that as you can see with the thing on there so are we going to get no Valgar and marked him well Sutton flick on to Larson what a goal Ooh. Yeah, so I, f I think on this version, I think it's a bit like O1OT. How do you want to play the game, really? Because if you just want to go and buy a load of cheap players and freaks, it will just make the game so much easier. I don't know why he's running with the ball there, Easton. But we are down the flanks. That's, I think that's the only problem when you set it to down the flanks. The players will naturally look to move out wide. Which hasn't suited us this game. Yeah, they're just... Uh, they're too, too good defensively, so which I thought would be the case. Are they going to get a fourth as well? Why is our striker suddenly playing a three? That's the first time I saw, uh, and our defenders played awful as well. I just it might just be the quality of their of their strikers. Well it looks like we're gonna come second this season, or second or third I reckon for their first first season. I mean I am just I just wanted to try out a four four two as well. I think um our counter attacking style will be fine against much weaker teams, so we're favourites at home to Pike Thistle. Anyway, thanks for watching. I just wanted to um just give my views on the match engine, really. Take care.